Hey, what's up guys? Here is a quick video I wanted to do on staking ETH on Coinbase. And actually it's ETH too. So I've already done this a little bit where I just put in the minimum amount. Or I think that's the minimum amount. We can check that. 0 0.001. A couple of bucks plus the Coinbase fee. You know, it's like five bucks, less than, less than five bucks. Uh, because I was on the wait list waiting to stake ETH, well, ETH2. And so I finally got the notification, hey, you know, this is opened up, it's ready. Uh, even though it is, like it says, not tradable in your region. So it's still, let's see. It's still something that is developing. Like there is an article here that's talking about the updates. Uh like this jumped out at me. That doesn't mean it's coming right away though. So this whole system, if you're unfamiliar with it uh, for Ethereum, it's a bunch of smart contracts and decentralized finance that have kind of taken over with Ethereum. So people can have smart contracts and they're using it for lending, lending purposes. So there's a lot of money and interest coming into this where the fees have become become such a problem that uh, the whole network, the whole system is going to be uh, upgraded. Or if you think about it, like a lot of this internet stuff, websites, uh, you know, YouTube with videos, it's different properties and stuff like that, but uh, in different uses and all kinds of different stuff going on, Facebook groups that you can create, all this different stuff. But I think of it like real estate where it's an asset that can be built. There's, there's something you build that can be uh, put to use for you. So this whole system, uh, the use has to be renovated for a greater use where the fees will be much less and it should be a smoother, like an operating system. So that's, that's what they're doing is they're upgrading ETH into ETH2 and there's gonna be a staking function where you can earn like 5% with Coinbase. Now there is that option to do it on Nexo. I've shared a video about uh, earning interest on Nexo. It might not necessarily be staking. It might be more of like a banking, like lending platform. So I shared a video on Nexo. You can put your tokens up. There's a bunch of them. You can put your tokens up and, and lend them basically through that platform. That's what they're doing and earn interest there. But they're out of Switzerland. Uh, they seem to be legit and, and pretty solid as far as I can tell, but you might want to look into that a little bit closer and come up with your own opinion. Coinbase, on the other hand, is a United States company that is regulated and they haven't had any problems. I don't think Nexo has either, but uh, if you're in the United States, I would recommend Coinbase. It's just so simple to use that it it's just a piece of cake and really simple and easy to use. So if we want to stake this, we go here to stake and it's going to take the Ethereum that, that they'll go ahead and I guess put it to work somehow. I'm not familiar with the details. So it can go to work yet as the network is upgraded, let's see, let's read through this, earn up to 5%, stake rewards in exchange for helping secure the network. Okay, so they're gonna put it in some kind of a pool or some kind of a, a work category to do this and there's a reward with it of up to 5% at the moment. Trade and transfer restrictions. After staking, you'll be temporarily unable to sell or send your ETH2 until we enable a way to trade ETH2. And I think that's got to do with the network being upgraded. It's supposed to be a process. I don't think there's a definite timeline on it, but I haven't looked too close into that. But it's a process. It's like it's, it's gonna take a little bit to get that upgrade or that renovation finished. So there's this is what I wanna point out, staking risks. Your staked ETH may be lost due to events such as validator or protocol failure. While these events are unlikely to occur, pre please read our terms of ETH staking carefully for, let's see what this says. Oh gosh, this is a bunch of stuff. Bunch of stuff, I'm not reading this. Anyway, so there's risks, that's all we need to know. There's risks as you allow them to put your ETH to work while the network is upgraded to ETH2, 
if something happens, some kind of validator or protocol failure or who knows what, it could be lost. So I would just take this as a, a good heads up of like, okay, how much do you really want to put into this? I just got off the, uh, the wait list and I went ahead and just put in a minimum amount just to put some skin in the game and to kind of flip that switch on of like, okay, well now I'm invested in this. And depending on how many days between now and the end of the year that I decide to, you know, put four or five bucks into this instead of something else, you know, you could waste four or five bucks on a lot of stuff, but just about anybody could get in here. Like you don't have to put thousands of bucks in, especially if there's some kind of a risk that, uh, you know, you could lose it. So you can get started with a very minimum amount. And I think that's uh, really awesome. Let's see, where am I going? Going to buy something. Like for example, 10 bucks. There's a 99 cent fee, which depending on how much you buy or you put in, the fee is on like a slider scale where it could go up to 199, 299, et cetera. Let's see. Ah, triple O one, okay. Let's see here. Or like this, thousand bucks. If you're gonna put a thousand bucks, which are, you might not. You know, if you don't have any skin in the game at all, you might put in a little bit, but putting in a thousand bucks, let's see, fourteen sixty eight is the fee on that. Oh no, I almost clicked it. <laughs> oh one. That's a zero one quantity. If you put that in and lost it, that would just be a bummer. Uh, if you've got money to burn, I guess you'd you know, do whatever. But let's see here. Let's see. Buy Bitcoin. I don't want to buy Bitcoin. Come on. ETH, there we go, there we go. So I'm gonna swap this over. Let's see what that looks like. So that's 350. 0.001, I wonder if that would do. Like that's even less. <laughs> Point triple oh seven. So it's like if you almost had nothing, but you wanted to like psychologically get in the game, you could put in triple oh seven or less, and it's like look at that two forty five plus ninety nine cent fee three dollars and forty four cents, and you can put money in to work and get it going at least in the right direction. So this is how this looks. Just do this for fun and just to show you how to do it. I'm not trying to put money into this right now while they're still figuring out the network kinks, but I don't mind throwing a couple of bucks into this. You know, instead of buying a candy bar or a drink, 007 and ETH, okay? So you go down to stake. Say, I understand there's risks. I'm not concerned about that. Stake all. I'm gonna put that mug to work. I should have read what that said. I guess we can go back and pause the video and take a look. So now it's done and you'll see the rewards over here. Lifetime rewards, uh, it'll earn them and then you have to wait a little bit till it's received and deposited into the account and you can use it. But uh, you know, this is gonna be automatic where it is staking and it's earning um, more ETH too and just compounding on top of itself over time. So this is just putting skin in the game and kind of flipping that psychological switch where it's like, okay, let's do this. You know, this is the first step of, of getting into it. So if you're not and you're interested in that, 
check it out. I'll share my link. That's why I wanted to make this video real quick is that if you're unfamiliar with ETH and staking, now it's available. You might have to join the wait list, but go ahead and check out Coinbase. You put in a hundred bucks into whatever crypto you want and you'll get 10 bucks in free Bitcoin. So you could take that, you could trade it for ETH and then you could go to that page. Let's see the overview back to the main page here to the staking part, click stake, go through this and get your uh, $10 that was free Bitcoin from joining and, and funding the account. You could get that going into this if you wanted to and you could withdraw the hundred bucks later i guess if you wanted to there might be a time frame on it but that would be a way that you could get in the game basically for no risk at all so that's kind of cool if you have comments feel free to share them like subscribe if you want to stick around and uh, otherwise i'll see you on the next one peace